Superstars, it is so good to be together again today. I'm Beth. I'm Caden. And I'm Ava. And you are joining us for the second in our Superstars Summer Cinema series. Each week, you're going to hear from a different person about a different film, about another amazing truth about our God. You will also be doing a fun craft. The craft relates to the film, so hmm, I wonder what our film is going to be about today. And I also wonder who's going to be telling us about it. I wonder who that could be. Do you have a clue, Caden? Maybe it's someone in this room. Maybe it's someone in this room. Shall we find out? Hey Superstars, I'm Ava and I'm really happy to be joining you for the Superstars Summer Cinema. One of my all-time favourite movies is the first Peter Rabbit film. Let's watch the trailer now. Rabbits are generous, honest, pure, graceful creatures. Our natural rabbit pace should be able to keep up. Ah! Do you know what? That would never have worked. Blue jacket, no pants. You must be Peter Rabbit. Yeah, that's right. Wait, didn't you try to eat me? Show me your teeth. Do like a go like. Argh. It was you. I knew it. How are you? So good to see you. Hey, hey, hey. You into the I can't think of one thing that could stop our fun. Checking on the new neighbour. I'll explain it to him. We all share our land around here. Hello, I'm B. These gates are incredibly sturdy. I just need to keep the wildlife out where they belong. You're joking, right? Yes. <laughs> They're angels. This is their place. <laughs> okay, so he's tricked her. There's only one way out of this. He's gotta go. Did you know they set traps in my bed? He's a rabbit. He wouldn't hurt anyone. His face was so classic. He was like... Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> I have a vermin problem. An electric fence will keep him out. What happens if we touch him? No, Mrs. Tiggy Wingle, stop! <laughs> Look away. We can't give up. It's our home. You're mine, rabbit. Yay! Oh! Thomas, what's going on here? My two boys getting along. Nothing could make me happier. Ooh, I'm a rebel just for kicks now. I got us into this. I'm gonna fix it. isn't it? It's really funny. I like how Peter and his friends cause so much mischief. They wreck the house after Mr McGregor has left, only to find his grandson moving in next. They rig his house with rakes and booby traps, electrocute him by his doorknobs, eat his crops and generally just cause trouble. I won't tell you too much in case you want to watch it over the summer holidays. I definitely recommend it. The character I would like to focus on today is Bee. She's really sweet but naive. She isn't really aware of the trouble Peter and his friends are causing, which makes her really different to God, because God knows everything. But a similarity between B and God is that it's how much she cares. She keeps Peter and his friends safe from old Mr McGregor, and also keeps them safe from Thomas McGregor later. When it rains, B welcomes the rabbits into our home and wraps them up in warm towels. She also feeds them and always gives them the benefit of the doubt. B has everlasting love for Peter, Benjamin, Flopsy, Mopsy, Lily and Cottontail. A bit like how God has everlasting love for us. Throughout the Bible, the narrative of God's love is woven into every story. The Bible is an adventure book where people are often getting themselves into mischief. A bit like Peter and his friends. But God is constantly looking out for them and helping them out of tricky situations. There are so many stories in the Bible that follow this plotline. People disobeying and God rescuing. Perhaps the one that sticks out to me the most is the story of the prodigal son. We all know the story of the son who ran away. 
and then ended up working in a pigsty. But in the end, he comes running home to his dad. Although he had disobeyed his dad, like how Peter and his friends disobey B, his dad welcomed his son home with loving arms. B always looks after the rabbits, even though they always get themselves into sticky situations like the son had. We have so much to be thankful for in God. Even when we choose to run away and disobey God, he will always rescue us. Let's sing, dance and worship him now. just heard about Peter Rabbit so as normal the video is going to come up here and we are going to do our very best to make it happen down here we'll show you our results in a minute enjoy over to you Gemma let's make a bouncing bunny you will need a ruler scissors glue pen a cup to draw around googly eyes and two pieces of card take a piece of card and your ruler and mark four centimetres and draw a line between the two. Do this on your other piece of card. Then cut this out. Please ask an adult for help here. Take your two pieces that you've just cut out and stick them together. Then fold them over on each other.
Take the last fold and glue it together. You've made a spring. Take your remaining card and your cup and draw around your cup to make a circle. Then draw two bunny ears and draw two bunny feet. Cut these out. Take your other piece of card and draw two bunny hands. Draw the inside of your ears and a triangle for a nose. Cut these out. Take your circle and draw your bunny's cheeks and your bunny's teeth and whiskers. Take your little triangle and stick on the bunny's face for your bunny's nose. Stick on your googly eyes. Take your big bunny ears and stick the insides onto the ears. Then stick your ears onto your bunny face. Take your spring and glue your bunny feet to the bottom of your spring. Stick your bunny hands just underneath the circle of your bunny face. Take your remaining piece of card and cut out a rectangle. Fold your rectangle in half. Stick one side to your rabbit's body and the other side to your rabbit's head. Well done, you've completed your rabbit. Woohoo! Awesome, you guys, that is so much fun. I hope you enjoyed making your bouncing bunny. And when you put this in your bedroom along with all the other crafts that you've made, you can think about the truth that Ava taught us through the film Peter Rabbit. God loves us and God looks after us. That's an awesome thing to end our session on today. If you've missed any of the other sessions, then you can look back on our YouTube channel at any of the other videos where there are plenty of stories and songs and dances and crafts for you to join in with over the summer holidays. And we will see you again next week for more Superstar Summer Cinema. And remember guys, you were born to shine! Bye! So it's time again for us to do another one of our crafts. Gemma has prepared a rabbit craft for us. So as normal, the video is going to come up. Sorry. It's all right. Oh, looking at the camera. <coughs> I really had to sneeze. That's fine. Just trying to like, hold it. So the rule is here. Okay, so you're going to measure four centimeters from. Okay, let's try that again. I'll cut all of that out. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> This is going in the house. I mean.